Well, tonight, a hidden camera IT investigation. It has to do with selling your old gold. There are plenty of people who will buy it from you, but if you want the best deal, there are some things you should know. IT reporter Mindy Passera explains. You've probably seen the commercials and heard the hype. I got $423 from The ads promising big bucks for your gold jewelry are hard to miss. And right here in Maryland, there are plenty of local jewelry stores and pawn shops willing to buy your unwanted gold. But can you really get big bucks? We have 22. We discovered it depends on who you ask. Divided by 20 penny weights. Because it could mean the difference between hundreds of dollars. There's 14 carat. We decided to find out how much this gold collection could fetch. There are 11 pieces total, seven rings, one 16-inch chain, two 7-inch bracelets, and a bangle. 14 carat. Jeweler Sam Coyne is president of Craig Coyne Jewelers in Ellicott City. And this particular ring is marked 14K, 14 carat. He verified all of our jewelry is 14 carat, with the exception of this 10 carat class ring. Coyne cautioned us that expectations can be a bit unrealistic. A lot of clients will come in and they heard in the news that gold hit an all-time high. It's the highest it's been in 20 years, and so you're going to retire and move to Florida on a couple wedding bands. It doesn't really happen that way. So with a hidden camera rolling, an I-Team producer took our 11 pieces of jewelry to five different local stores all on the same day, and all of the stores advertised they buy gold. Our producer didn't try to negotiate, just asked what they would give her for it. JD Loan Company, a pawn shop in Owens Mills, advertises high prices paid for gold. A man examined all the pieces, then said he'd give our producer $145 for the lot. It's about the same at Fino Jewelers on Bel Air Road in Baltimore County. Our producer waited while someone examined the jewelry and calculated a value. The offer? $147. On to Carroll County in Baltimore's best pawn in Finksburg. Inside, a man took a close look at our gold and the cash offer grew. He said he'd buy the jewelry for $190. But we continued to shop around. At Uptown Jewelers in Pikesville, again, someone looks through our gold jewelry, and this time, we're offered significantly more, $250. And at Poplar Jewelry and Loan on Joppa Road in Parkville, we got the best offer of the day. Remember, the lowest offer so far was $145. Here, we were offered $265, $120 more. Our hopes were higher for cashforgold.com. It touts that it owns its own refinery, cutting out the middleman. We packed up our jewelry and mailed it off to the company's Florida address. A few days later, Cash for Gold called with a verbal offer, and it was by far the lowest offer we received, just $85. When our producer said she expected more, Cash for Gold nearly doubled its offer to $161, still far less than some of the local stores. We contacted Cash for Gold CEO Jeff Aronson, who agreed to let us record the conversation. He wasn't surprised that his company came in on the low end. I'm apples to oranges with a pawn shop or a jewelry store. Aronson says jewelry stores and, and pawn shops can I, resell I the gold that. and that cash for gold is strictly a refinery. So you're not really trying to compete with the jewelry stores and the pawn shops? Not, not at all. He says a good part of what he's selling is anonymity and convenience. It's an ease, convenient, secure way to do a transaction. And obviously, you know, there are costs associated with it. Like those commercials, they're expensive. But most people aren't going to make the kind of money advertised in the Cash for Gold ads. I sold my old jewelry and took the vacation of a lifetime. The company says the woman who took the vacation of a lifetime is an actress, but the story is real. They say a woman sent in a large amount of gold jewelry weighing about a pound and a half, and she got $10,000 for it and took a Caribbean cruise. But that's not Cash for Gold's typical customer. The company says the average payout is about 50 bucks. The Cash for Gold website does recommend that you look at all your options before deciding what to do with your gold. Jeweler you Sam Coyne agrees. Because knowing what you own before you embark on this journey is very important. Because your so, jewelry could fetch um, bigger bucks in by selling case, individual pieces rather than scrapping it. If you thought it was attractive, chances are someone else will. Keep in mind, 14 karat gold is not pure gold. It's 58% gold. And when you factor in what it costs the jeweler to have the gold refined and melted down, and then consider they want to make a profit, your piece of the pie gets smaller and smaller. Best rule of thumb, know exactly what you have before you try and sell it. Shop around and don't be afraid to negotiate. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Mindy Becerra.